everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and another salmon fly, this is the oyster catcher as always we'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for them that would like to support the channel as well as getting access to the members only content and being entered into the giveaways so I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 6 fill and mill, magni double and I'm just starting some black thread Picked up the wrong bob in there. Uh, and then on the way down, I'll catch in some small silver tinsel, oval silver. I'll tie it back to the, the barb. And then I'll wind it down the bend. Four or five turns, just suit your own eye, and I'll come in between the hooks and pull it up to lock it in place. And then I'll trim this also the body length, which is there. Right where my scissor is, that's you can see there's quite a lot of empty space at the front there for the wing and the hackle, right? It's quite important that you leave yourself enough room and get all that secured now I look at this fly as a sort of cut the oyster catcher is a colour scheme um, I don't think it really matters what hair you use folk talk about the patterns and variants and all that but I think a lot of the salmon guys need to have a better look at themselves and look up maybe invent in the dictionary um, going a bit Inventing this part and inventing that part. And very few of these flies are inventions. It's the same fly in a different colour. So, anyway, I'm using Arctic Runner because it's nice and mobile and it's great for flies of this size. So, orange is the first part of the tail and it's going to be like two shank lengths off the back, like that. If you don't want to use Arctic Runner, you could use Fox or Bucktail or Calf, Goat, anything really. I'm going to trim the butts. Also, length of the body. Then I'll just sort of gather them up. I'm no too fussed about making it really tidy at the moment. I'm going to get a length of Orange Crystal Flash. Single strand. Just fold it over the thread and pull it back. And again, I don't think this is in the original dressing, but I like that wee bit of flash in the tail. I think it adds to the fly. So I've just pulled that along the body, tying it in so there's a strand on either side. And I'm just going to trim it just shy of the length of the longest bits of runner and then I'm going to come in with the second or the top part of the tail second bunch of hair this is white arctic runner I'm using here and this can be a good bit thinner a bit, no more than half the thickness of the orange I would say looks about right to my eye um, just a wee white highlight along the top and I've tied that slightly shorter if I put it all together the orange is just a wee bit longer maybe this is the white three quarters of the length which just helps build the taper into the fly. Rib, I'm just using the same size, small oval silver as I did for the tag. Catch this in on my side, right at the tail high end point, and I'll draw the end in to the length of the, the body, and I'll tidy up.
and then the body material which is black floss got to catch it, draw it in and then you can tidy everything up as you tie back then come up to the front couple of half hitches and I'll change my thread and I'm using this is UTC fluorescent fire orange I'm get a wee rub with my wax to get a wee bit of grip and then I'll take my floss and I'll wind it up the body. Just take your time, obviously be careful of the hook points. You can slightly overlap the turns. Covering everything up, getting that nice smooth body. If you just keep running the floss through your fingers, it keeps it flat and you will notice how I sort of shake it back and forward that helps to spread it a wee bit as well I mean it doesn't need to be perfect but if you've kept everything relatively smooth you should get a nice a nice floss body it doesn't it's, as long as everything's the same thickness, you'll not get any bumps. Tie that off. And I'll come up with my rib. Full turn at the back. Oops. Bend the tinsel over the thread. And I'll lock it in and trim it off and you can tidy up. Looking good. Hackles white, I'm using a white hen and this is uh, it's from a Mets Magnum hen saddle, um, like the kind you would use if you're tying a game changer or something like that. Tie that in by the tip and then fold the hackle. There's a turn. You only need like two, two and a half of these, they're quite dense feathers. That'll do it. If you're using a sort of lower grade feather, you might need a few more turns to get that to get the volume you like. But the Magnum hens are very dense. Very good. Wing. I'm sticking with the Arctic Runner. Going with black. And I don't know, I mean, some folk like them a bit heavier, I prefer the slimmer, slightly slimmer shape, unhooked flies anyway. Um, you get that nice swimming action if it's sort of a slim drop foot shape rather than a big bulky thing. Don't know if the fish care right enough. So wing length when I come in nearly the length of the white. There's a couple of really long fibres I'll just take away there but you could leave them in. And I'm going to tie that. Just press it with my thumbnail. 
get it flat on top of the shank. Like that. You can see there you're sort of adding that, everything's in this long kind of drop shape. A couple of wraps just to secure it. Trim away the waste. Now, to secure this and make sure it's very durable, I'm going to brush a centimetre or so of the thread, maybe two. I'm going to come to the front and then wind that super glued thread back into the butt pieces. That makes that really, really secure. Now you can see that wing sticking up a bit, but just put a wee crease in it to drop it. I mean, it will come together once it's had a swim anyway, you know, but that gives you a sort of better idea. And then, last is jungle cork. Couple of feathers. I'll just tie these in one at a time. Hackle fibre, I don't like there, that's annoying me. But I'll just go back, there we go, better. Same on the far side, just make sure that they're even. A couple of wraps is enough as hold it. it lets you check the foot the how the, the eyes sitting. Fold back the stem. And tidy everything up. Just ignore that for the time being. Build up your neat wee head and keep your thread tight and just break that. Jungle cock away. Get a wee last check. And then we can whip finish. And you can use your whip finish to sort of finalise the shape of the head a wee bit if you like, if you need to. Make sure that looks nice and tight. One's plenty on these because you've got to coat it with super glue and then varnish it. So just carefully coat the head. Just work your way around. Don't touch the feather. Don't touch the hair. And there you go, that's the oyster catcher. It's a uh, oh, really nice looking wee salmon fly. Um, tie some up, give them a try. Obviously, you don't need to tie them on doubles, you can tie them singles, trebles, tubes. Bigger, smaller. You can tie a temple dog version up to yourself. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was useful. If it was, please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.